it's Monday, <laughs> which is a day just like the other six days on the calendar for me. But more importantly than that, it's Monday, February the 8th. Now, February the 8th is one of those days on the calendar that always is going to stick with me. Uh, this is the anniversary of my mom's passing. February the 8th, 2009, she left us. <sighs> Seven years. God. Uh, you know, just don't have much to say. This day just feels like any other day but I just wanted to I just wanted to mention a couple of things first of all just uh, something I'd like to ask of everybody watching this is just take care of yourself it's not a big favor to ask but it is you know what I mean but just take care of yourself and be nice to yourself today. We can use our past to help us cultivate a new level of joy, a new caliber of joy. Let's say, for example, you live to be a hundred years old. In the grand scheme of the world, that's not even a hair. That's not even the width of a hair. You mean to tell me that if you're going to if you're going to go and try to extract as much life out of your short time on this planet, then you're going to go to the grave with regret? Regret that you didn't do something, that you didn't take a chance? I speak to myself here, of course, because... I feel like, like I said yesterday, every fiber, every fiber in my being wants, wants to go out and do what I'm planning to do. Every fiber of my being except one. And that one fiber is trying to overrule and yell over everyone. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. You, th this one little fiber has been giving me anxiety and keeping me up at night. This one little fiber has been ruling my life. What the fuck, man? This one little fiber, this one tiny little fiber is trying to stop me from living my life. I've been doing so good lately. I've been doing so good these past couple days. But at least once a day, at least once a day, I have a moment. I have a moment where I question my sanity. Now, a lot of times I'm able to get out of that moment just by changing my physical location. But not this time. No, not this time. I had to get this 
when I was driving. When I was fucking driving, man. God! Why does my head hate me so much? Why does my head hate me so much, man? What have I done to you, huh? What have I done to you? It's gonna be okay. What, you wanna tell me how you can't walk forward? Well, why don't you? Well, figure it out. I don't need a dog that walks backwards all the time in New York City. Okay, I'll trust. I've been trying to figure out all day just really the lesson I wanted to take from this anniversary of mom's death, and I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out, and I think she'd really be pleased with this lesson. See, life is a series of conscious choices. These are decisions, these are choices that you choose, that you actively choose, that you are the cause of these decisions. And it's really just how you perceive the reaction to it, the the reaction to it, yeah, that how you perceive the reaction to it. Like just, for example, I could choose to think of my life as woe is me. I have no, I have no friends. I have no family. I have two parents who killed themselves with alcohol. I have a, I have a sister who I never know if I'm on her good side or not. I feel like I'm losing my mind slowly and surely, that kind of thing. But I could also choose to think of my to, to think of my family life like I had two amazing, highly intelligent, highly dedicated parents who who provided for me, who provided love, who provided me culture, who provided a loving home. I have a sister who is still struggling with the death of her parents, but she is living her life. I could think of my life as I have friends who love me. I have the potential of more friends who love me, that kind of thing. I could really choose to think of it in a more positive light. And in honor of my mother, I, I, I'm going to choose that. Because when I get into my head, when I get into my stuff, when I get into just how dangerous my mind can be that's when I start getting into trouble that's when I start having meltdowns like I had earlier today so I'm going to end the video on that note and the um, only thing I ask is just take care of yourself you guys I love you all mom I miss you I just hope I'm making you proud <laughs>